Hey guys and welcome back to my Dragon Force story. We've just finished the season. So let's show you the last remaining fixtures. So where do we pick up from last one's February? So our next game was against Mansfield. And we won 1 0. Roy McCauley getting the goal in the 68th minute of our 1 0 victory. And as you can see guys, well deserved as well. Then we played Grimsby, and we drew 2-2. Uh, Chris Sedgwick getting the first goal for Grimsby. Ian Flanagan getting us the equaliser. Charles Banya getting one just for half-time, with Hope Ross get one with just over ha under half hour to go. As you can see, guys, on the balance of play, they put, they deserved the three points, but we dug our feet in and managed to pinch something. Then we played York, and this was a very disappointing defeat as they were struggling in the bottom of the division while we were pushing for playoffs and we lost 4-1. We were 1-0 up and I thought we got a chance in this and then all of a sudden then Mighty Blair got on for half time and they got one just after and they just sucker punched, sucker punched us and that was it. As you can see, 10 shots, only 1 on target, that's fucking awful. And they had 7 shots, 5 on target. They were more clinical, clearly. They played Fleetwood, we got a brilliant draw. Magno Vieira getting fleeted off to a good start after 14 minutes. Then Asa Hall scoring about a 30 yarder, which killed in into the top corner uh, to get us a point. And on the balance of plays, probably justified a point was a fair result. They played Hazen Yedin again, a team that was down relegation, and they managed to get a 3 1 victory over us. They rushed into a 2 0 lead after 20 minutes. Scott Wilson getting one, and Alex Mowat getting a one from a free kick. We well, maybe should have got sent off after a reckless tackle, but hey ho. Then we got one then to Rayal Donaldson. I thought we might be able to get a point, and then all of a sudden, then Scott Wilson got one straight after the free kick. And as you can see, on balance of play, probably didn't deserve to get fuck all, to be honest. Then we played Accrington. Always going to be a difficult game. We lost 2 1. Uh, Jimmy Adam getting us a goal, so we're going in 1 0 half time. Charles Barnett and Egozus, Geo Hagen, get one from a corner to give Akraton the three points. And as you can see, on the how we played was pretty awful, but they didn't play very well either. They played Stockport. Oh shit, sorry. Let's get rid of that now. Right. They played Stockport, we lost 1-0. This was a team that was challenging for the title at this point. And as you see, they got a goal by Ryan Simmons late on in the first half, which sealed the fate. But we were fortunate to only lose 1-0. There we got Alfreton, and this is where our form I thought could change. We scraped a 1 0 victory after an Neil Flanagan goal. 17 shots, 4 on target, 50% possession. They had 1 shot, 1 on target, so 3 points. It should have been, and we got them. They played well in, we won 2 1. Jamil Adam and Hope Rawson getting a goal in injury time after Jack Parson opened the scoring after 3 minutes. We were very lucky in this game, guys, as you can see. Uh, the annoying thing was, well in the bottom of, bottom of the league at this stage, and we managed to scrape a 2-1 victory. We played Forest Green, and we absolutely battered them, as you can see there with the stats. But they managed to hold on to a point, and, you know, it was a point gained, really, because I wouldn't expect that much. They played Stalebridge. Bradley Mason getting a goal just for half-time from a corner. With Jack Rea then scoring with 15 minutes to go. And again, very poor display, but it's a point. And we finished our final game of the season against Histon, and we did it in style. We won 6 1. Daniel Sparks getting an absolute beauty of a free kick into the top corner to give him a 1 0 lead. And then it was the Jamil Adams show with four goals for half time, which killed the game really. Joshua Murphy then getting a goal, and then Roy McCauley getting one later on. And as you can see, 17 shots, 9 on target. That's the kind of stats I want more consistently more consistently as well. I'll show you the fixtures. Well, I have the transfers, the ins and outs. Right, uh, as you can see, we signed Simon Clist on a free, a non-contract. I thought we could do with him as our midfield was injured. We released Sam Gorgon on a free. And we loaned Charlie Conwin platt to Hinkley as he was deemed a surplus. 
Uh, we've now got a loan debt of 775000 after the stadium build. And we finished ninth in the Blue Square Premier with 71 points, 6 points off the playoffs. And as you can see, guys, a massive improvement from 14th with 64 last season. So that's 7 points more than last season. And I'm very happy with that. Uh, as you can see, i got a couple of people on trials with us. Ben Davis, former Derby boy. I think he's Derby anyway. Yeah, he was. Uh, he's someone I'm looking at. So we'll see what happens there. He's good at free kicks, which is what I'm looking at. And he can play really well on the left and midfield. So we'll see what kind of contract he wants now as soon as I get my budget. We're also looking at Danny Stevens, if he doesn't join us. Again, a good left midfielder and can also play on the right. And then we're looking at Alex Nichols, uh, former Warsaw bloke. Pretty good stats. Hopefully he can be a bit more clinical than he has been in the past. And again, you know, he could be a good sign-in. See what happens. Right. Do -do 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 -do. Let's show you this. Our top goal scorer of the season was Jimmy Adam with 25 after 45 games. Hope Rawson, who only came in to the team really from January with 13 goals. So I think he's going to be an absolute beast of a player. See what happens with him. So yeah, they're the two standing players for me. As you see now, the club finances are secure. Well, okay, so I'm over the moon with that. And I said earlier, guys, that our stadium was built. I lied. I thought it was, we've just moved stadium. So hopefully now when that stadium gets built, I can update you on that, which will be at the end of next season. Um, Ryan Donaldson might be here next year. Not sure yet. Hopefully I can get a bid in for him because I don't like him because he's crap. But, uh, yeah, guys, that's the end of my season. 2014 now, hopefully pushing on in 2015. See what kind of budgets we get, see what players we bring in. And you never know, we might be able to get to the promised land. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying this series. Um, hopefully you'll comment, subscribe, or even like. Uh, so catch you later, guys, and thanks for watching.